Olaf Haraldsson or Olaf II, was the king of Norway, and traditionally seen as the prominent figure in the Christianization of Norway. During his lifetime, he was known with many names, he was also called Olaf the Lawbreaker, for his many brutal ways of converting the Norwegian people. Olaf was born in Ringerik, to Asta Gudbrandsdatter and Harald Grensk, great-great-grandchild of Harald Fairhair, the first king of Norway. Olaf's father was died when his mother was pregnant with him. She later married Sigurd, with whom she had a children named Harald Hardrada, who would become the future king of Norway. At the end of Viking Age, as a teenager Olaf landed on an island in the Baltic Sea, then headed to England to the Danelaw area. There Olaf participated in the siege of Canterbury, alongside the Viking Thorkel the Tall. Thorkel and his men break the siege and took several hostages. Olaf then led a successful attack that took down London Bridge, and restored London and English throne to Athelred the Unready, and drove the Danes out of England. Olaf then set his eyes to unite Norway into one kingdom. On the way home he stopped at Normandy, where he was baptized at the Norte Dane Cathedral. He returned to Norway and declared himself king, by obtaining the support of the five petty Norwegian kings. In 1016, Olaf defeated the powerful Earl Swain at the Battle of Njar, who had control over much of Norway. He had destroyed many petty kings of the south, and asserted his suzerainty in the Orkney Islands and conducted raids on Denmark. Within few years Olaf won more power, and consolidated his power throughout southern Norway. By 1019, he had married Astrid Olivstetter. But Olaf's success was short-lived, he lost the Battle of Helgia in 1026, against the combined Canute the Great and English forces. The Norwegian nobles supported the invasion of King Canute of Denmark, and Olaf was driven into exile in Kievan Rus. This left Canute as the dominant leader in Scandinavia. During his exile, Olaf was instrumental in baptizing the locals, and spreading the Christian faith there too. After securing his throne in England, Canute placed Jarl Haken Eriksson as his regent in Norway. However, Haken was drowned on a voyage back from England. Olaf seized the opportunity to win back the Norway throne. With the military support of the Swedish king Anund Jacob, he tried to take the Norwegian capital Naderos. But Olaf was killed on the ensuing Battle of Stiklestad, where some of his own subjects of Norway took arms against him. Stiklestad battle was one of the most famous in Norwegian history, due to the treachery of Olaf's men, who shifted the sides and took the arms of Canute the Great forces. Olaf's younger brother Harald Hardrada was also taken part in the battle, Hardrada became king of Norway, and ultimately died at the Battle of Stamford Bridge, which ended the Viking Age. After Stiklestad, King Canute ruled the Norway with his son Svian and wife Elfgifu as regents. However Olaf's illegitimate son Magnus claimed the Norwegian throne, Svian and Elfgifu were forced to flee. Olaf Haraldsson and Olaf Tryggvason, are both traditionally regarded as the driving forces behind Norway's final conversion to Christianity. Olaf was inclined to violence and brutality, and used his Christianity to gain more power for the monarchy, and control in Norway. One year after his death, Olaf became the Norway's patron saint. He was eventually canonized and given the title Eternal King of Norway. On July 29, Faroe Islands celebrates Olavsoka as the National Day, where they remember Saint Olaf the King who Christianized the islands.